Welcome to Schneider Electric PLC Training Tutorials, where you will learn Schneider Electric PLC programming. In this lesson, we are going to learn to convert electrical relay diagram to a ladder logic. So let's see how we can convert a relay diagram to a ladder to a PLC ladder logic. So we will be working with the Emoticon M340 processor. So we will see how we can convert a relay diagram to a PLC ladder logic. This is our relay diagram that we want to convert to a relay ladder logic. Here we have our phase and neutral, and we have the switch S0 and the switch S1. The switch S0 is a normally closed switch, and the switch S1 is a normally open open switch. When the switch or when this uh, push button is pushed, then current will flow from the phase. Since the uh, S0 is not pushed, then current will flow through it to the coil when S1 is pushed. And at that instance, this, this coil contact or this load is now energized. And when it is energized, this relay contact when it is energized, its uh, contact now closes. So this, this is normally open contact. You can see they have the same address. They have the same name immediately, the same, they are on the same device. So this contact now closes, and when you release your hand, then this path becomes full, and the relay is still on. So we call this contact, in other words, a hold-on contact. So this is, a, this is a hold-on contact. Now, how can we convert this to a ladder logic? Remember that the S0 is there to break contact, so put off the system because it is activated, and since it's connected in series, when we push it away, then we are breaking contact. Then this entire circuit becomes disconnected from the supply. There are two cases we can use to implement this using the PLC. We are going to see the first case, PLC wiring use case one. This is a PLC wiring use case one. And here we have connected our S0 to the first input that is IN0 and our S1 to the second input that is IN1 and we, are, we have all supplied them through 24 volts. You can clearly see that our input module is our input module and our input module has been wired as a sync type module because 0 volt has been given to the common. When we give 24 volts to the common then we are wiring it as a source type module and uh, the output, in the output, we have connected our load to the point output zero. So you can clearly see it's moving to the neutral, originating from this terminal. How does the, the PS ladder logic now look? So we will be translating this okay, electrical schematic, electrical relay wiring to a PLC wiring. So this is our PLC processor. And our PLC, a PLC processor is located our PLC processor is located on a slot zero. So this is our slot card. We explain how to mount PSCs to slots and what a slot means in our early tutorials. You can go back uh, to the early tutorials of the series and I have explained how to hang a PLC to a slot. And I said that our PLC is always uh, on a slot on a slot zero in the rack. So this is our rack and it's rack zero. And on the slot, the slot number, our PLC, our processor always is always located on slot zero. And beside it is always the power supply to give it the voltage that it needs. Okay, you can visit the previous tutorial. I've explained all that then. So our PLC is in slot zero, our input module in slot one, and our output module in slot two. Those are different address locations or references that we are going to use to access the different different output pins or different output ports in the in the input and the output module. This is a, the ladder logic to this electrical schema. So this hard wiring and this is our PLC logic. Here we, we have used, notice that we have used two normally open uh, switches. Unlike here where S0 is a normally closed switch. So in our PLC system we have used, we have represented S0 with a normally closed contact and S1 with a normally open contact. What basically happens is if I press this, if I press S1, 
Okay, this contact is large. This contact becomes true. This contact is close. And uh, this is a normally close contact. Since this is a normally close contact, then current will flow through it. Current will flow through it to S1 and then to the KM1, which is the, the load contact, the output. This is the load contact with our output. And now at that instant, if I release my hand, then this path becomes true. Okay. So you see that what I mean is that this contact is normally closed. Okay, when we have not pressed anything. So current is on this spot. And when I press this switch right now, that is S1, then this contact becomes closed. And when this contact becomes closed, then current flows to the output and the coil is now lashed and the contact of that coil is energized and this path now becomes becomes true so it becomes an all path okay and when i release my hand from this s1 then this goes back false and because it goes back false let's put an eraser here and erase this okay so this contact now goes back to its origin and now this path now becomes true and our and our system is constantly is constantly on notice the way i have addressed address the different input and output the percentage remember i said during variable declaration that the percentage gets shows as an address so these are the, ad, in, the input address to this okay and this is the input address I n one and this is the output address to out zero and they have both it has the same address as its as its contact okay all right back to our schema our system is now running and output is now present here let me we now have an output logic we now have an output logic here so we now have this contact is now we now have an output logic there and there is this current that flows from here and this coil is energized to the ground okay now when i press this button since this is normally closed when i press s0 for example then this contact opens and when this contact opens why i have pressed this switch and this contact opens what happens is that okay, let me put an eraser. So when I press it, what happens is that this line is broken. And when this line is broken, current ceases from flowing to the output. And our circuit is now no longer complete. And this and this the circuit breaks open. And when the circuit breaks open, then the coil is de-energized and then the system goes and then the system goes off so this is the first way of wiring the first way of wiring our our inputs and our outputs as well as the plc the plc program okay so uh, round up with uh, the first case okay so notice this address for outputs that is two and one for input and zero for the plc this address means is the first one like for the input f0 i means is an input zero means we are on rack zero one means we are on slot one and zero the terminal means we are using the first input the zero input and uh, secondly s1 i means it's the input zero means it is rack zero one means we are on slot one and the next one means that we are using the second input that is IN1. While for the output, the Q stands for an output. Zero means we are on rack zero. Two means we are on slot two. And zero means we are using the first input of the of the output. Okay. Now let's look at the second case. The second use case. So we are still working with the same diagram and we are looking at the second use case. So there, for the second use case, we maintain the slot numbers, the rack numbers and everything. But what changes now is the, the wiring. Now notice that S0 is now normally, 
to normally close push button unlike the first case where s0 was a normally open push button and since it's a normally close push button when the system is powered up there is already a bit in the memory if i use a pen here to, to explain here there's already a bit in the memory bit a bit is already present here okay because there is already a 24 volt and because the bit is already present there then we already have this we already have this contact s0 contact is already closed so we already have a logic at this point okay and when we press s1 then the contact of s1 closes and power flows to the output like that and our output is flashed and when we release s1 before we release s1 the output contact would have been flashed already like that and when we release s1 then when we release x s1 then this contact goes back to its normally open state and now our logic now flows from s1 through km1 through to the to the coil okay remember that this bit is still there. and if we want to now terminate the, the system or want to put off the load we want to put off the load to cancel off the logic that will be present on this point then we have to press this contact when we press this contact then here becomes false and then it becomes false here and then it becomes uh, this contact breaks open and this coil also breaks open okay remember that this contact follows this coil so when this goes off the coil goes off and the contact closes okay all right so uh, that will be it for for this presentation here in this presentation we have learned uh, the different inputs wiring the sink type the source type the different output wiring outputs that are more than two amps and output that can go up to two amps as well as how to convert as well as how to convert a plc is a, an electrical relay diagram to a to a plc ladder diagram and in the next lesson we are going to introduce the programming environment using the unity pro okay so thank you very much for watching to get a detailed access to some of the explicit engineering knowledge you will need for this lesson please head on to our site at uh, www.expertlearningzone.com and uh, if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe okay see you in the next video